Today's video is going to be walking through uh, a possible solution if you're having issues with receiving inquiries through a contact form on your WordPress website. So sometimes you've got a contact page with a um, contact form, but you're just not receiving the uh, submissions via the form. Uh, I don't have one there, but we got WooCommerce installed. So for WooCommerce, you would receive the um, order um, confirmations. If you're not receiving any messages, uh, any emails from your WordPress website, there is likely an issue with the deliverability of the email. Now, this could be for a number of reasons, but the most popular and the most common reason we find is you're hosting the website on uh, some cheap hosting on a shared hosting platform. That means there's a number of websites also hosted on the same server and you're using that server to send the messages from your website. Now, because you're doing that, there's a higher chance that they're going to get flagged as spam. So they end up in the server spam filter or in your email client, say in your Gmail spam filter. So today we're going to walk through one of the solutions for that. So one of the solutions is if you use an alternative method to send your email notifications from your website. So we're going to use a platform called Bravo. It's uh, similar to MailChimp, but we're just going to use it simply to send um, email notifications. So we're going to create an account here using um, our email address, which I believe is that. So, a lot there. Okay, so that is now, just got to verify the email. So email's come through, so we just got to verify this. Okay, great. So we're going to create our profile on Bravo. Just As with everything, let's add the verification code. Just use the free version if you send in, uh, they're called transactional emails. Any emails being sent from your website is just transactional. So now we will have to set up um, the senders. You want to add your domain name. changed it a little bit is this before So we're just authenticating here. 
sent to your email. So you've just got to copy the verification code sent to the email to verify ownership of um, your hosting account. This is a lot easier than what it used to be. Uh, you used to have to write uh, enter the DNS settings manually. So hopefully this works and it makes it a whole lot easier. Excellent. So this is authenticated the domain name to show that we um, own it and we have access to it. So all of this will improve deliverability. Um, tag is missing, so we're going to add. Uh, so going to add a sender here. So this is going to be the email address we want to use to send. Um, our transactional emails from on the website. I'm not sure how important that is to be honest. Excellent. Now we want to add um, Bravo to the website. So you can do this with a plugin. Right, and then where is that gone? It's at the bottom. So now we just need to connect um, the Bravo account with your WordPress website. So we need to get the API from your account. So we can just click this and take us directly onto. Um, to our Bravo account because we're already logged in. We need to generate a new API key. So, so you only need one API key for your whole website. You don't need to create a new API for each form. Excellent, so that's successfully activated. Now we want to make sure that this is ticked here, activate email through Bravo. So that's um, perfect. So yep, we want to activate through Bravo and we can uh, send a test email. That is sent and we can see it's successfully been sent here. So that's how, so now you should uh, test your contact form on your website to check if you're receiving the emails. Um, what's really good is that when you're logged into Bravo, you can also see the email log as well, which not all hosting providers uh, show you. So you can see, you'll see if it's been sent, you can see if it's been delivered, and you can also see if it's opened. If there's an issue, such as it's been um, bounced back uh, or there's an error, it will pop up here and you'll see the problem and then you can look to resolve that further. But this is um, ideal. Now you're not using the server to send mails from your website. You're using Bravo, which is more reputable and you've got the DNS records um, saved in your DNS settings which ensures that your mail does get delivered and doesn't get um, marked as spam. So I hope that video was clear for you. If you have any questions, just drop it in the, in the comments uh, below. Please subscribe to the channel for um, upcoming videos. We're trying to do one each day. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.